Welcome back, it's Katerina. Hope you're all doing well today. For today's video, I have another makeup tutorial for you. It's a little bit more dramatic than what I usually do. I've gotten a lot of requests to do some more dramatic makeup looks and then also play with some color because you guys know I love my very simple, neutral looks. But I posted a picture of a very similar look like this on Instagram and you guys really liked it and wanted a tutorial on it. So I recreated that today, added a little bit more of a nice cat eye, um, loaded up on mascara, and in this one I did a very peachy nude lip. If you guys want to see the purple lip, I created that purple lip because I used two different lipsticks, head on over to the Trust Me Cosmetics TMC Beauty Block. I will link it down below. I'll take you through how I created that lip, lipsticks I use and everything. But if you guys are interested in seeing this tutorial, then let's get started. <laughs> prep my eyes I'm just using a concealer to kind of cancel out any darkness any redness and this is also going to prolong the longevity of our shadows I'm just blending that in with a beauty blender and then I want to make sure I set that area this is going to really ensure there's no creasing and all the shadows are going to go on beautifully first going in with the trust me cosmetics press shadow in the shade ready it's a beautiful deep true purple and I'm just going to be using a fluffy blending brush and then a smaller fluffy blending brush and just building that up in the crease area then I'm taking a clean blending brush, just kind of diffusing the line. This whole look is all about adding product and then blending because it is a hot mess until you really start to blend everything out multiple times and then it comes together. Then going in the City Color Spice Me Up palette, I'm going to go in with this kind of orange coppery pressed shadow. This is going to prep for our pigment that we're going to use. It's just going to add a little extra boost of color and I'm just packing that on with a synthetic flat brush. So here is pretty much the star of the show. This is also from Trust Me Cosmetics. It's their kind of copperish orange pigment. Using that same um, synthetic flat brush, I'm just going to use packing motions and pack this all over my lid. And we are going to be doing this multiple times throughout the video because we will lose some color sometimes during the blending process. And it's just all about taking your time. So here we are again blending with that purple shadow using a little bit more. And again, we're just going to be going back and forth blending, adding more product, blending, adding more product. So then I want to do my brow bone highlight because that helps kind of clean everything up. This is a Lorac Summer Glow palette, just an off-white peachy shade and just popping that right under the brow. So here for some extra pigment, I'm going to take my finger now, go back into that loose pigment from Trust Me Cosmetics and really pack that on. So now we're going to take a break from the eyes and we're going to go work on the face a little bit. So I'm using my typical primer from Olay and then for foundation I'm going to mix to the L'Oreal Infallible in the Maybelline Super Stay Better Skin. I do have reviews and tutorials on both of these, I will link those down below. And I'm just going to do dotting motions all over my face and then proceed to blend in with a beauty blender. I really like these two combined, I feel like they give a really, really nice full coverage and just make my skin look smooth and flawless. So for concealer, I'm going to color correct with the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Nude. This is just a really nice peachy off-white shade. And I'm just going to put this right under my dark circle area. Then I'm going to blend it in with my Beauty Blender. Again, this just really helps conceal those under eye dark circles, kind of corrects the blueness in her eyes. You also really want to make sure you get that inner corner because a lot of darkness can come there, especially from using deeper shades like that purple. So then I'm also going to brighten a little bit. This is a Maybelline Fit Me in the shade Light. And I'm going to put this on all the high planes of my face, so under my eyes again, down the center of my nose, Cupid's bow, chin, all of that. You guys have seen this a million times for me. And then I'm also going to just blend this in with my Beauty Blender. I'm also able to crisp out that outer edge doing the concealer after the uh, shadow, so that's why I did that, and also to clean up any fallout and everything like that. So then I'm going to use this baking technique. I've been doing this quite a bit lately and I've been really loving it. This is the NYC Loose Powder in the shade Translucent. I use my damp beauty blender and I just lightly pack this under my eye. And then I also like to put a little bit on my forehead, basically just my T-zone area because this really locks everything in and also kind of blurs out your pores which I really like. So I just proceed to let this sit for about 30 seconds and then I go into the Simply Spoiled Beauty Palette, uh, the Perfection Palette, mix two shades together, the peachy and the yellow, and I start to to blend and just kind of swipe everything away. This technique is amazing for covering dark circles and just making everything look flawless and last all day long. 
Then I'm gonna do my brows really quick and we are gonna go back to the eyes. Working on that lower lash line right now, I'm going back in with the purple shadow and a pencil brush is going from outer to inner. And then I'm also gonna take that pre or that loose pigment, the copperish gold one, and I'm gonna put that right in the center. And then we're also going to tight line today both on the upper lash line and the water line to create some more drama, make our eyes really pop. And then I'm going to do a little bit of a wing liner. This is Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Liner in Black is Black. And I'm using a Tarte liner brush and I'm just going to do a really thin band all the way across my lash line. And then I'll kind of do, you know, my typical little baby wing, but I am kind of doing a little bit more than I usually do, but still a really small kind of flick. So then I'm just going to go ahead and curl my lashes. And then for mascara, oh that was weird. <laughs> for mascara, I'm gonna use the Lash Sensational by Maybelline. And I'm just going to pack this on and really load it up on my lashes. You can also opt to do false lashes if you'd like, of course. I just like this look. It's a lot easier to do as well, very quick and no fuss. So then I'm going to bronze up the skin. This is the NYC bronzer in the shade Fire Island Tan. And this is just going to add a little bit of color because we are going to go in and contour. But this is going to help kind of blend everything out. So then for the contour, I'm going back into the Simply Spoiled palette with the deepest shade there. And a Sephora 74 contour brush. And I'm just going to really carve out my cheekbones. The typical. This is what I do all the time. I just really prefer this look. I like this look and I'm bringing it up on the sides of my temples, going under my lip and then I'll go under my nose and on the sides of my nose. Of course I do blend all of this out because it is pretty harsh at first so I just take a kabuki brush and kind of blend everything away and make it all look seamless. For blush, I'm using my all-time favorite City Color Be Matte Blush in the shade Sweet Pea. It's just the most perfect neutral shade that goes with absolutely any eye look, dramatic, natural, whatever it may be. This blush just complements everything and I just, I cannot get enough of it. Then for a highlight, I'm using the Urban Decay Naked Flush Palette. I just really like this highlight shade and it's pretty intense as well and that's what I wanted. So just going on my cheekbones, my cupid's bow, and then of course on the bridge of my nose. For lips, I am using two from the Maybelline Rebel Collection. One's in Barely Bloomed first, and then I'm going to dab a little bit of Peach Poppy on there as well to create some more kind of a slight coral. So here I am just dabbing a little bit of the Peach Poppy, and then I'm going to go in with this NYC Lip Gloss in the shade Bare Brooklyn. It's a beautiful nude shade, and I just feel like it kind of completes this whole look. Alright you guys, so that's pretty much it. That completes the tutorial. Very easy to do, but I like how bold and vibrant, but I feel like it's still pretty wearable. So, let me know what you guys think. Alright you guys, so I really hope that you enjoyed this video and this makeup tutorial. Please give it a big thumbs up if you did. Also, please make sure to subscribe to my channel for new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Thank you so much you guys for watching, and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye! Hey guys, welcome back. It's Katarina. Hope you're all doing well today. Today I have another self tanner review and some demonstrations for you guys. Today we're going to be talking about the Jergens Instant Sun Glow, aka Instant Self Tanner. So let's get started.